Now, in the annals of history, the name Major General Constance MFA Ajeni Afenu stands a as a beacon of resilience, dedication, and the unwavering pursuit of equality. As the first female general in the Ghana Armed Forces, her journey was marked by both remarkable achievement and trials. Speaking at the launch of her book, The Lady in Boots, Ghana's ambassador to Egypt, Lieutenant General Obed Boama, said uh, she was a true blazer for women in the service. There is more in this report. Her courage transcends the battlefield, leaving an indelible mark on the very essence of service. Major General Constance Emefa Ajini Afenu, her book, Lady in Boot, stands as a testament to her indomitable spirit. At the launch, Ghana's ambassador to Egypt, Lieutenant General Obed Boama, touched on her profound commitment to women's empowerment in the service. A trailblazer in the Ghana Armed Forces. She has chalked so many fits. First uh, commanding officer of a regiment, the Peace uh, Regiment. The first lady to have served as a deputy military advisor in New York at the United Nations. And most importantly, the first lady to be a deputy force commander in the UN mission in the Western Sahara. The book covers a lot of topics. If you want to do command and leadership style, especially for females. Constance is an example of determination and focus and staying professional and not doubling in things that are not related you know, to the professional calling. For Brigadier General Anita Asma, the content of the Lady in Boots exhibits the late Major General's passion for her career. She goes into details from her childhood right up to when she finished serving her last um, appointment. She carries you along in the reading of the book. It's very interesting to read. And she has advice for both children, women, young girls and even the Ghana Armed Forces. Whatever she saw as wrong, she was very plain spoken in the book. She addressed issues as they were and she stressed on those that needed to be stressed. The legacy of the late Major General, according to her sister, Akofa Ejani, will be preserved through the book to impact the younger generation. Definitely, I believe so, that her legacy will be preserved. You know, because generations unborn will come and still read this book. Uh, one of the things we want to do is to send copies of the book to secondary schools uh, uh, across Ghana so that they can have it in their libraries. So generations unborn will definitely read about her and know that there's no challenge one cannot surmount if you put your mind to it. The lady in boots, Major General Constance MF. Acheni Afenu has exited the land of the living, but her legacy lives on. For Joy News, Jacqueline Ansumar Yabua.